a new opinion towards discipline. Read and enjoy. Discipline is important for everyone, young and old alike. What happens when Kabir becomes the discipline in charge of his class? Read further and find out. Kabir has been appointed as the discipline in charge of his class and he takes his responsibility very seriously. Let us find out what happens. Kabir enters his house. Mom, I am the new discipline in charge of my class. Isn't that wonderful? Mother, that's very good. Congratulations. Father enters the room. I heard that. It's great. Congrats, son. Kabir, thank you mom and dad. The teacher spoke to me about my duties. I have to make sure that all the students of my class obey the rules of the school and maintain silence. When the teacher is not present in the class, I also have to see that they move quietly in a queue while going to the playground during the PT period or on the way to the library. Father, I am sure you will be able to work in a responsible manner and do your duty. Kabir, well, I will try my best. If we maintain proper discipline, there are chances that our class might pick up a trophy for being the most well-disciplined class in the school in the coming months. Mother, oh yes, you can certainly win the trophy. Kabir, but a few boys and girls of my class make a lot of noise. Dad. How can I help them improve? Father, well, that reminds me of the talk by J. Krishnamurti, a great philosopher and teacher, of discipline. Kabir, please tell me all that he said about discipline. Father, Kabir, first you must understand the real meaning of discipline. Let me show you his book with his picture and tell you about J. Krishnamurti's views on the subject. He said that control and suppression are not important. We must try to understand that discipline is adjustment. It must be based on care and affection. He gave an example to explain his point. Suppose a boy did not get up on time early in the morning and the housemaster tried to discipline him. He insisted that if the boy did not get up early he would be punished. The housemaster was not right in doing so. It was just a form of fear. He should have tried to find out why the boy was lazy and whether he needed extra care or more rest or exercise. Kabir, all that J. Krishnamurti said is so true. There is a boy in my class, so hell, who shouts at others when the teacher is not there. I just don't know what to do. Father, you can request the teacher to let him sit in the front row. Probably. He wants more attention from the teacher or others and your work will also become easier. Kabir, Dad, I will also talk to my classmates and tell them that if we maintain discipline, all the teachers will praise us, and we can study well. Father, you all will be able to concentrate better and it will build up your confidence. Self-discipline is the best way to maintain discipline. Kabir, I will certainly try to make them understand that we should aim to win the trophy for being the most well-disciplined class in the school. Father, that's right. Mother, the teachers and parents will feel happy if the children are disciplined. Consider the people working in the police force or in the armed forces. They are trained to be very disciplined. It makes them fit, alert, healthy, and focused. Father. Moreover, remember what J. Krishnamurti further said. He believed that when students leave school they should be real human beings with consideration and intelligence who can look at everything without any fear. They should be able to fit into a society. Kabir, I will remember all that and do my work sincerely as the discipline in charge. After one month. Kabir, Mom, I am really happy today. Something happened. Guess what? Mother, I have no clue. What's the matter? Father, I am sure you have done well in studies or as the discipline in charge. Kabir, yes. My class, 4A, won the trophy for being the most well-disciplined class. We have displayed the trophy in our class. Father and mother, 
Congratulations. We are so proud of you. Always speak truth. Sometimes the truth. We are tempted to hide. Due to our guilt. Or just simple pride. An exaggeration. May lead to a lie. Those that affected. May break down and cry. When honesty. We try to avoid. Relationships. Are often destroyed. Our intentions. Are not to distress. The only solution. Is to genuinely confess. If we continue these ways. We shall never gain trust. For healthy relationships. It's an absolute must. When we have done wrong. We should be honest and frank. People will appreciate. In the end they will thank.